here I am again with the second part of the color challenge, the color purple by Amy from Crafty Cat USA. So this is my second part because the last part it was already half an hour long my video and I run out on time and things had to be dried, assembled, thought about because I only got half an hour for these three products that I would like to make using um, those papers. I, this is one of those papers. It's a bit of a windy day out here so I have to put something whitish down for the wind not to blow it away. So this is that paper I dyed long time ago with the herbal tea mixture that was um, the forest berries so it made a purplish type of a dye and it was nice and purplish but it was not fast so that's now probably three quarters of a year ago and this is the color that was left over and I just inked the edges so this is going to be one little paper I think this booklet will have a little bit more um, papers this is all I have prepared right now so I'm cutting the papers like this I thought I make it cascading so this is going to be the middle and so I thought this to be the middle piece and I have here an old newspaper that I used as the backdrop when I was um, spraying paper and it just turned out so funny so I thought I might use one of these images on this a comic strip here in the middle as the centerpiece. So I just thinking I would like to have a bit of the gold splatter in it, but I also would like to have this awesome edge here at the end that's from a ripped out drawing paper. So I think if I cut this and a little bit less that might be a funny one so let's see whether I can cut this away put the weight on it so we're gonna make it about this This is very thin paper, you know, this modern, unusual paperish newspapers they make nowadays. Back here. Now the second cut. Let's align this. Again. So the second cut is probably here. Huh. Doesn't matter. So just about an inch wide. It's okay. Here. 
Other end. Approximately here. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So gonna glue this on here. Newspaper to do that. Oh, I won't get no more animal. Oh, goobers. This is not too much, does it? The wind, the wind. So, back to the other patients we have prepared. So this is going to be the cover. I like this brown in combination with the purple. This is a piece of calico, I don't know, firmish type of a cotton. And I stamped here a bit of that cotton with a bit of lace underneath. And I'm going to sew it with the sewing machine. So I won't do that on camera. But this is so uh, you know what's developing here. So this is the outside, and then this is gonna be the inside of it, like this. This is gonna be the first page, and this is pockets here. So there are still some cards to go in here. Then I probably have, oh yeah, I have this brownish paper, but I still would like to have one of my dyed, the purple papers I made yesterday, and here in between. And then this page, maybe another purple one, and then this page is the center point, and then I'm going to fold it over and stitch it here. And then that's going to be my little booklet. But I shall continue that off camera and see what my other booklet is doing. And I'm just going to show you the other booklet I'm working on. The two booklets I'm working on. And then I do the sewing here. The sewing machine sewing and then... I'll show you how I do the rest. I'm working here on a little booklet that I would like to make, just about this size. This is going to be the middle. And what I'm doing here is I'm gluing this lace onto tissue paper. So what I'm doing, and just on a piece of newspaper and you have to wiggle it once in a while so it doesn't stick onto the newspaper. I'm outside again and it's a little bit of windy day so I have to weigh things a bit down so they don't get blown away. I would like to use this corner because this is all the purple tissue paper that I have left. So that doesn't matter that it's torn. That's just going to be
be glued in. So here I got a glue solution and it is maybe um, PVA two-third with one-third bit watered down. I'll just make a nice patch the size of this. Be generous with the glue so it, the fabric will stick into it. There, and then just put this in here, and then I cut it out. Don't know whether I should go a little bit here to make sure it sticks down. I've just done this like five minutes ago. Done this too. This is a booklet. This is going to be four pages, this booklet. Only this lace with purple. And then for the cover I just dyed this piece of cloth here with a grid on it. So again it's got these lovely markings. And this is going to be the cover piece. A bit of antique lace. Very, very fine, beautiful. This too is antique. But I think this is machine. Yeah, they're both machine made. And in between I'm working on a piece of cardboard. I'll show you the cardboard. It's just drying in the sun. But I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to be successful because the purple soaks really into the white cardboard. It's just a very thin cardboard and it doesn't leave too dark enough marks to... I want it to be a bit more purple behind the cover. So I might work a little bit on this cardboard a bit later and then I shall be back and show you more. Okay, here I am again, a step further, and the glue has dried now on these laces, so I roughly cut them into shape, and then I also put glue here, and you might see how the patch is here darker, that's from the glue, and it has a bit of a feel like glycine. Feels really good. So I will tear them into proper size. This one here. left over. It's handy. And so as I said it's going to be a four uh, pages. Well, you know, one, two, three, four, eight. Eight half pages like this. So I'm attempting, I don't think I shall tear it because bit too delicate. I might just cut it. It's fairly okay on that side. Let's be on the safe side. There, this can be our template. <gasps> I glued the corner. Oh no, oh, shame on me. Doesn't have to be perfect. So this can be the template. Yeah, that's good. If 
for sure this doesn't have to be. I want it to be a little bit dry and the breeze and a bit, what's the word, tattered I guess. This is an unusual booklet. It's not really meant to journaling, it's just a booklet. I'm on a project making at least a hundred little booklets. It's one of my projects. And they not all have to be just journaling booklets, just booklets. So, we got here the four pages, I have them, that's the centerpiece of course. And I wonder whether I shall have one facing each other like this also or all of them like this all of them like this or alternating we make it alternating yeah like this so we find the middle And the middle. And now I prepared here the cover. And although it looks really pretty, I like it, but it's not what I wanted. I wanted it to be darker, and so you can see through the lace. But the lace, anyway, it's doubled. This fine cloth here is in double. This here. So it doesn't make it really shiny true, to look true. So I was thinking, first I wanted this to be the cover, but now I'm thinking I'll go like this, and this will be the cover. And so I can safely half this now. Like this. So this will be here. And then this will be like this. And this is going to be outside. It's probably better anyway because it's nice and firm on the outside. And I don't want I I don't make them too thick these booklets because I don't want to make closures. I just want them to be little booklets that are just holding itself closed as good as possible. So gonna be like this if you imagine. Anyway I shall go and stitch around this and think what I Maybe I make some stitching here before I sew it. I have another little project I'm going to stitch. But this is as far as I go now on the camera. And then I shall show you my next, the, the other, the other project. The first booklet that I started with. Precious little papers. And... Here I finished, oh, I don't know if it's finished, um, this is the cover. I sewed this piece of fabric onto it. 
and this one is gonna come next so I folded it here the wrong way around I hope you can understand my mumbling but if you can't understand something I'm just mumbling so this is gonna be the inside of the cover and then this is going to be the first page and for this page I'm working here on tags to put in here in the pocket but first I also would like to put I think we go like this and then this page and then this page so I have to cut this page to size and I want to have it a little bit shorter than this so I'm just gonna mark it here roughly roughly here and it cascading so that's gonna be plenty if we put it here and the length of it is this line here so I can cut a straight line along a line and then this will just be good as it comes Half it now two, half this one, half this one. I inked around this edge in purple, and this edge I inked with the gold. I don't know if you can catch that in the camera, but it's just a touch of gold here. So, so, and again I don't want to make them, ah, this is the back of the page, no, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I wanted to do that one down as well. Hmm, now. Or maybe I just glue another of this page on it. That's what I shall do. Shall do. Or oh, this pretty one. Yes, it's gonna be this pretty one because the tags made out of this, so the back is nicely of this. Now that's a bit more difficult now without a line to follow. So. Make it roughly like this. Take it a bit more precisely. Come, sir. These are lovely rainbow colors here. That's from one of my wind chimes. It's a crystal. The sun's coming through. So, here we're going to glue this. Type again this piece for gluing. This bag, this bag, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's not meant to be sticky. So I think I might even use Elmer's washable clear glue. I think that's gonna be safe.
I keep pushing the nozzle up and then there's no flow coming. Okay, it should do. This has very nice markings from dyeing. So like this, like this. This is cover. So we're gonna stitch it all onto this. And then we glue it on so there won't be stitching on the back side. And the tags that I'm working on for these little pockets here. Now I made two stamps here and washed it a bit out. I don't need this paper anymore. This I'm going to use as backing. So they're gonna be right here and about here and then make it. Now we want to have the back. So we're going to cut here. And here. And here. Easy. Oh, that's it. Yeah, the wind came very early this year. It's our winter wind we have every year, arriving this time of the year, or later usually. But I hope it's not going to stay windy all winter long. I hope it blows itself out and gives us peace again. Winter is the most beautiful part in Queensland. Not that it's not good any time anyway. It gets a bit humid in the wet season. But when it gets dry for winter, it's just marvellous, marvellous. So... Gluey paper again. So, this side. This is just the backing of the tag. So, you can journal on the back of it. Although, as I said, it's, it's not a journaling. Just a 
wieder so schön, aber... Oh oh. A little bit now, which one is this one? Yeah, and once again, Amy, this is such a fun project. Your color challenge is just very appreciated. Thank you. How could I have gone that wrong? Huh. Anyway. That's easy to fix. Gluey scissors. This is my gluey scissor. I have to have a gluey scissor and a fabric scissor. Gluey and paper. And fabric and nothing but fabric. There. And now I would like to cut this somehow like this. They are not quite in the middle, so I don't know whether to do it together or not. the black marker and give this a lovely finish but I do that after or maybe I shall do it now because I don't know if I show it to you later then anymore so let me just quickly quickly grab Scissor, uh, a needle, 
I'm so not focused, you sometimes some miles away already thinking ahead and being focused with one thing, talking about another. Now if I had thought of it, I would have brought some clamps. Wrong, see? This goes like this, this goes like this, this goes like this, this goes like this. Now it would be nice to clamp it down, but I haven't got that, but I got here my needle, a purple. Why not? Purple. And I think we just make it a two. One down, one back up. Or shall I make three? I haven't got my... Oh yeah, not too bad. This is such an old needle. I don't know if you can see how crooked it is. And it was all rusty because I haven't used it for more than 10 years. So I had to, with a nail file, clean the needle because it just got the best eye. And it's pointy. So it's easy to work with. Here we want to be careful not to... Oh, I think I moved it. No, it's good. Just careful not to poke through the yarn itself again. Last one back in. Right here. Underneath, pull it firm. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. There we go. Should I make a bow? We have enough to make a bow. Pretty bow. There we go. Not too big. There. And now I back. Now we glue it into the booklet. Make sure that the front cover is with the pages upright and we're just going to glue it in. This was a piece of brown. I don't know. It wasn't the cardboard. It's not a paper. And I covered it with this purple tissue paper but I'm leaving the edge here so just to leave it a bit tattered and frail and we shall use Elmer's glue because of the stitching there oh, I wonder I wonder how much time elapsed Finally I made it, not quite as I'm supposed to have done it. I think I'm over the time, I took unusual steps. But anyway, this is my uh, participation in the colour challenge by Amy, colour purple. 
and what I've done is I dyed purple dyeing papers this is just the show off piece then I finished my two booklets this is the first one I started stitching on it washi tape I used washi tape that's the tag pages washi tape and the last little pocket here and that's this journal this little booklet it's a journal booklet number one and then my second one I've done I stitched around the cardboard very simple in the back a few slow stitches a bit of lace that was left over and I used purple and grey stitching here lovely lace This is a booklet for the eyes. There went my paper. It must make a horrible noise in the camera, this wind. And oh, I remember I must apologize for the last part of the movie. It was not very much in focus because, as you notice towards the end, it was the battery was low. But it worked out all right. This beautiful lace work. And that's the end of my two booklets. And then I had started last time this envelope, which I'm still endeavor to finish. But meanwhile, I have new focal points. Um, they're turning out green, and the focal points are fish and sailing boats and things like that. So this is just still in the beginning in that case, that beautiful little booklet what uh, Amy made and that then goes over the page like that into a journal. Okay, thank you Amy and thanks everybody for watching. I try to do better next time. Oh well. Bye now.